Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today, we're beginning the next part of our 2D game tutorial series. And what we want to do is um, we want to start making adjustments for a larger level. Uh, we've got a character, and we've got a lot of platforms going on. We sorted layers, and now you probably have a platform that is quickly growing. And um, I'll, I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about here, where we're outgrowing the bounds of some of the parameters that are set on your um, first scene here. So let's take a look. I'm going to push play and hop into the game. And I've just thrown together a couple of rough platforms here. You can see the, the play going on. Now, at this point, you'll notice that my character disappears off screen. Okay? And the camera does not follow her anymore. And that creates a problem as our level gets taller and taller and taller here. Um, likewise, if we uh, take a look over here, uh, let's head on over. You can see the camera scrolling with me up to this point here, and then we get to a point where now the camera no longer follows. And in fact, I run right off the screen here. If it weren't for the upper scene level, I wouldn't know that I was even on that platform anymore. So um, I've got to make some adjustments to my camera follow to make sure that I allot for the new size of the level here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here. And in your... Um, hierarchy here. One of the very first things that's included in your scene is your main camera. And also included on your first scene that you've imported here along with this series is that you have a camera follow script. Now this script, if we take a look at it, um, is basically designed so that it will focus on your character. So if you look in here, you can see it targets your character, and then it transforms the main camera according to where you're moving. Now, we also put in some fields here that allow us to customize it, our X max, Y max, X min, Y min, and we're not getting into a lot of the details here, but I just kind of wanted to give you a peek behind the curtain. So um, we're going to go back into Unity here and let's make adjustments on those things. So let's try with the first one, which was the height problem. So in my hierarchy, I have the main camera selected at this point, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust the main camera so that it's exactly where I want it to be when the game starts. So I'm seeing only what I want to see. I don't want to see any, any of the gray on the side here. Um, and I'm looking at the bottom screen here to make these adjustments. Now, the camera won't go beyond these parameters once you set them. So, you know, they kind of limit the movement of the camera, but they also limit not being able to see the other parts of your scene that are undesirable here. So, um, this would be my Y minimum and my X minimum at this point. So... If I go in with my main camera selected, I can take the X minimum and I can copy that. Now I can come down to my camera follow script here and I can go into X min and I've actually almost got that same exact number there and command V. So now it won't go any further left. That's as far left as it's going to go. And let's go ahead and grab the Y value while we're at it. We're going to command C. Now this is going to be my Y minimum, the lowest the camera will go. And command V. And now let's go ahead and get our X max. So I'm going to go all the way over to the side here until I start to see the gray and then come back just a pinch. Okay, now my camera won't go any further right than this when it's scrolling. Let's go ahead and grab that number, command C. And then we're going to go down to X max and command V. All right, last number. I'm going to take this all the way up to the top corner here and again adjust it to what we want to see and right about in here. Okay, and I grab the Y value, Command C, and now I'm going down to adjust the Y max, which is Command V. All right, now let's go ahead and try this out. We're going to put it back over here so I can see what's going on. Moving the camera around is not going to hurt anything uh, because I've already got those values set and I can kind of see everything that's happening here down below now, um, which makes things a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and maximize this a little bit more. So if and they make this so challenging to grab a hold of here. And there we are. And right over there. Perfect. So let's take a look and play. All right. So now I come up here. Whoa, missed that one. 
And by the way, our, our spikes do nothing right now, so they don't really help with anything because we haven't put any kind of collider on them or any kind of collision script or anything that's going to interact with our character yet. And I don't like the way the character's twitching, but the nice good news is, is at this point, we've got a camera that's actually following our character all the way up. And now we can see that we've got a camera that's following them all the way to the right as well. So this is just going to allow us to grow the level even bigger. Um, and really, at this point, your imagination is the only limit, I guess. So uh, have fun putting together your level. And I hope this helps you with a camera follow situation if you're running into that. And uh, thanks for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.